Hey everybody, it's Rick Jansen over at Denver Lifestyle EXP Realty in Denver, Colorado, and your host at topcloudagents.com. I am here with Chad Leonberg of Pennsylvania. He's an icon agent with EXP Realty. And before we get started, I just have to read a quick little disclaimer and then we will dive in. He's my fancy reading glasses. <laughs> uh, the materials and content discussed within this podcast are the opinions of Rick Jansen and or the guests interviewed. This information is intended as general information only for listeners of this show. Listeners can, should conduct their own due diligence and research before making any business or financial investment decisions. This podcast and this show are produced completely independently of eXp Realty and is not endorsed, funded, or otherwise supported by eXp directly or indirectly. So <clears throat> now that we have that out of the way, Chad, some people might not know who you are. So give us a little background, uh, your real estate background, your EXP background, wherever you want to dive in and let us get to know you. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, relatively newer still to real estate. I started, I think I got my license officially in July of 2014. Um, my mother had always done real estate. She did property management and stuff. So it was always somewhat of an interest. Yeah. Um, and so basically I got in, I had the team idea, but I don't think I knew what that meant in the beginning. Um, I started, you know, just trying to find my own success. Um, really 2015 was, you know, my first full year I had left my job and kind of taken it on fully and I sold 23 units my first year. And then the next year was where I started to take off. We tripled, I sold 60 units that year and formed the team. And then we've just been, um, we made the move to, to EXP Realty that year. And I learned a lot about setting up a team and with the collaboration here, it's been, it's been huge in, in my business setup. So, you know, from there we've done, you know, 80 and then now 104 units. We just, we just keep getting bigger and better. That's awesome. That's awesome. And I love, I love hearing that because I want to dispel the myth with this show because I've talked to some people and I'm like, Hey, well, you know, you've heard about eXp. Why haven't you joined? Mm -hmm. And one of the replies I got, which just baffled me was I want to keep producing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, so do we. <laughs> right? I mean, look at Chad going from 26 to 70 to 104 units. I mean, that's incredible. So yeah. what's, uh, <clears throat> So when you're bringing a team over, you had a team before, you're transitioning over. Let's go into like the nuts and bolts, right? Okay. Uh, you obviously joined for stock and revenue share and the EXP ethics, and we could get into all of that. Mm -hmm. But like the nuts and bolts, I don't think anyone's really covering that, right? So you approach your team and say, hey, guys, I just found something new. Yeah, well, <clears throat> I actually at the time I was onboarding one of my first two team members. And um we, I was at Remax at the time, and I, okay. I, he was all set to go. We, we, were, we, were, we were good to go there, and this was about, I guess, it was June of 2016, so almost three years ago now. And I told him, I said, hey, man, I found something awesome. I think we need to check this out. And there was under 1,000 agents whenever I first con, you know, considered it. And now I think when I officially joined, I was a 1,200 agent or something like that. Um, but I showed it to him, and we looked at it, and we said, yeah, this is a no-brainer. I mean, on paper, you know, we're making more commission dollars, and then there's this – you know, whether you get it or not is up, you know, with the rev share and the stock. I mean, it's just there. It's bonus. You, I, I like what Brett Gove says, you know, if you take away that stuff, what are you? You're just a Remax agent. You're a Keller Williams agent. So we, we looked at it on paper and we said, okay, we can do what we're doing now, make more commission and it's scalable because we have this, the power of the cloud. You know, he's, he's up more near Pittsburgh. I'm a little bit further away, 45 minutes. Okay. So we, we could connect, you know, wherever, didn't have to drive to and from. That was a big deal. I mean, um, I just said uh, yesterday, I was saying to somebody, you know, 20 minutes to and from the office, that's 40 minutes I could be doing something on the, on the computer and that's, or even just calling clients. That's a lot of damage you can do in 40 minutes, you know? Sure. So I think we just saw the leveraging the, you know, the, the cloud really together to collaborate with just each other. We didn't really realize how that would take off with everyone else. Um, and then on paper, it just, it made sense. You know, I mean, it was, um, it was just pretty much unbeatable, you know? Yeah, and and, that, and you bring up a good point, right? The, the stock and the passive revenue share are purely bonuses. Mm -hmm. You're looking for a good place to hang your license, period. You're looking for a great place to help people buy and sell homes. Yep. And that's eXp. Now, why, why is that just in and of itself? If you take away all the other goodies, why is that good enough for you? Uh, so, so why is it good? Why good? is eXp good enough without stock, without rev share? eXp in and of itself is good enough for you. So, and maybe it's for lack of digging into when I've interviewed at some of the other brokerages. For me, when I moved, it was just team colors mostly. I mean, and I still somewhat believe that. I mean, it's really the agent you hire. Most of the higher level agents have a lot of their own systems. They pay for a lot of their own CRMs and different stuff like that. So, you know, it's really just the culture you want to be with and if it's going to amplify you. And, you know, it may not always be the best fit for everybody, 
most cases I've found that it is. But, um, you know, so I, I think at the end of the day, it, it's just, it was, it was a perfect fit for us to be efficient. And, you know, we don't get paid by the hour as realtors. So right. <laughs> it, to increase the efficiency and the ability to collaborate across, you know, a whole country and internationally with Canada, I mean, it, you, you know, once you get in here and you feel connected like that, you can't get that at any local broker, brokerage, even if it's national. They just don't have that sense of connection when you really dig in. So, you know, I, I think that for the day-to-day -day business, it's really just the, the connection with so large of a group instantaneously that that's huge. And, um, and you know, we, we're, we really do it a lot with Workplace now, with Workplace by Facebook. But I got to say, the cloud, you know, there's a lot of people that don't log in and use it a ton. And I've had to force a lot of my team members, like when they have a commission issue, I say, log in and handle it and then they understand the power of going in and I know it's virtual and you're your avatar to avatar but it's it is the same experience as walking into your you know uh, physical office and dealing with accounting directly and um, but you're not driving you don't have to get dressed up if you have kids you don't have to find a sitter and you can do all of those things quickly so they're able to uh, leverage you know those employees over a much larger group so I think efficiency is what it really boils down to for, for me at least yeah, and uh, you brought you bring up two interesting points there for me. One is that the culture amplifies you, which I think is fantastic, and it's obviously amplified you because you've increased sales. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> excuse me, but the second is I, when you talk about you know that there's admin staff there. I was listening to a, a Q and A with Gene Frederick yesterday, and he said, "What do you mean we're virtual? We have 350 employees. We have an office, right?" But yep. you have that depth and breadth of experience sitting at the hub, ready to answer your questions. Yep. And that, that's phenomenal, right? It is. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you've seen a lot of growth since 1,200 agents up to, <laughs> like we're over 16,000 now and counting. Um, yep. Talk to me about, because some people are like, well, there's a, you know, this glitch or that glitch or whatever. I mean, you came in when there were glitches galore probably, and you yep. just see them just steamrolling over them and smoothing them out. Tell us a little bit about like uh, the, the culture of improvement of EXP that you've seen. Absolutely, yeah. So <clears throat> there's two, two kind of things with that. One is my experience, and one is how I think my mentality had to be, and it was driven by the stock element. So with the stock element, it, it sets you up for this ownership mentality, <clears throat> which, you know, it, it's hard to understand that when you're coming from those brokerages, you don't really think, think about the stock, but when you start getting a healthy amount, you go, okay, I want this company to succeed beyond just me, you know, I want other people to attract agents. I want other agents to produce because it's just going to in increase our overall, you know, investment really in, in the company being that we have some ownership in it. So when they were going through all these changes and stuff, I mean, me personally, I was just like, you know, Hey, I'm on board. I'm, I'm willing to help in any way I can, as opposed to maybe if I was at another company where I didn't really have a stake, it's just, Hey, me, 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 you better service me or I'm going to jump ship like most agents have done. Right. So I think really the mentality there is key for people joining here because as they say a lot, they're laying down the tracks as the train is coming. <laughs> uh, and I, I've witnessed that, you know, definitely. <clears throat> so then now going through the changes, I mean, there's been, you know, there's been a lot that um, I, I wouldn't say they've been the quickest at because they've had such an explosive growth, you know, but they have always made the proper changes and really impressed me. I mean, I, I think that I'm a very tech savvy person. And they've impressed me on the, some, some of the technology and the things that they've done. You know, so I've been, I've been shocked and the integrity has always been there. If they make a mistake, they're upfront about it. They will correct it. Um, they'll even give you, you know, a, a, a better reward for, for whatever um, mistake they made, depending. And I've, I've lived through probably six or seven, you know, major mistakes here that they've fixed. So, I mean, I've been thrilled. I've seen the core values. I mean, when they, they came out with the core values actually after I started it, or at least announced them publicly with the wheel and stuff. So, when they, when they came out with that, I'm like, okay, everybody has their PR statement, you know, and stuff like that. I cannot say how much I've seen them live that. And, and they, they emphasize it all the time. All the agents do. It is absolutely the truth. And when I went to, you know, the first live event, I, you just see it through all the employees, all the staff, all the changes they make, transparency, the integrity is absolutely there. So with the leadership here has made me know that, you know, no matter how big we grow, they're going to make changes that will benefit us. And yeah, you got to be willing to take changes. I mean, being agile is one of the parts of the companies, but you know, for me, if you're on the good side of change, it's typically profitable and helpful to your business. So I've seen that be a good thing here. Yeah, absolutely. And the live events that you bring up a, an interesting point there, because there are two major live events. As far as I understand, there's the shareholder summit, which is coming up 
and then there's an event in the fall. Have you been to both? Can you tell us a little bit about either one? Yeah, yeah, I've been to both. Um, yeah, so, I mean, honestly, they're both great. I've been to a lot of conferences, and I think that's re really where, I mean, you can see the culture at EXP through Workplace, the cloud, and stuff like that. But when you go to the live events, I think that's where you really feel it, and it becomes a real thing. Since we are virtual, you may not feel that as much until you see it, you know, physically. <laughs> and when you go there, I, I always say, anybody even considering it, just go to a live event, and you'll join immediately. I mean, it, it's unbelievable, the, the, just the, the culture that you see there. So there's also a ton of value. I mean, I know... EXP con, they do a little bit, um, they, they did like a pre-conference, they did the rebar camp. So basically they threw up ideas on the board. Um, you know, they pick topics that, that, that they liked. Some of the leaders would go in each room and they do, you know, AI or FISBOs or um, agent attraction, whatever, whatever they would, you know, different topics. And I, I kind of was like, Oh, I'll just enjoy, you know, New Orleans a little bit and I'll go to some of the regular sessions and somebody pulled me over. So I went in within a minute, I was taking down notes because it was just this open forum. You know, the people in the crowd were going back and forth to the instructors and everything. And it was, uh, it was great stuff. The content has been great. I, I like to sleep in. I'm, I'm kind of, uh, kind of a little bit, <laughs> I work efficiently. So I'm a little bit lazy. I go to these conferences and I was nonstop. I was up at the crack of dawn, ready to go. I was going to every event. And that's saying something for me because that's not my style. <laughs> just, to be honest, you know. <laughs> so. I love, it. I love it. I yeah. love it. And, you know, when you talk about that masterminding and the, and the sharing of ideas, you know, I'll be upfront with everybody watching this show. Chad and I have never met before, right? Mm -hmm. Chad and I have no financial interest in each other whatsoever, except for the fact that we both want to see EXP grow. We both want to see the stock grow, and we both want to get the honest message out about EXP. And I think firms that are threatened by EXP are, are sharing whatever they want to share. Oh, there's one bad story or one this or that, and they're cherry picking. And they're missing the hundreds of good stories that are coming out every single day. I mean, I think we're growing at, what, 250 agents a week right now. That's, there's, there's something good about a company that's doing that. And uh, speaking of growth, uh, have you focused on that as one of your, your revenues? Uh, yeah, you know, parts of your business model. Are you focusing on agent attraction or are you more focused on just, hey, let's move the needle forward, go from 75 to 104 to 204? So, yeah, so I, I honestly, I, I only do what works. Um, you know, I, I'll try something. If it's not working out, uh, you know, I'll give it up pretty much. And I didn't even bother with it at first. Um, I honestly thought that nobody would get the virtual world. I got it because I played video games. As one, you know, I know I'm younger, but when I was younger, I played World of Warcraft. And all, so I got the virtual thing. It worked for me. I'm like, there's no way that regular agents will get behind this. C clearly, I was wrong. <laughs> so I gave it a kind of shot a year and a half or so ago and was just not, I didn't know how to present it well. The two events, um, you know, gave me, got me better and better at it. I really dug into the company, learned every single avenue. Now I could spout out, you know, pretty much anything they offer pretty quickly. And now in the last couple of months and with our, you know, major growth, we've had a lot of attention towards it. So the last four or five months, there's been a huge interest and I've been doing well with it. So I am putting a lot more into that now. We're actually opening up a physical space um, in a local town near here, near, near me. Um, okay. so, you know, we have about <clears throat> five to 10 people in the next two months joining, you know, so it is taking off all of a sudden. Yeah. Um, and I think that's because people have just, you know, and it came out, everybody's like pounding everybody about joining and they're like, oh, okay, okay. And then now they see that it's working, it's working, people are staying, they're, they're loving it. You know, I mean, I've obviously loved it. I've stayed here. So they're, they're getting curious now. So it is working now. Um, and I like helping, I mean, I have a team, so I like growing a lot of the newer agents. That's been a big thing for us. We really work with a lot of new agents. Um, so doing this for me is, I want to offer something of value to everybody I bring in. I'm kind of the tech guy. I'd like to help them be more efficient with their business. So, you know, it's, for me, it's kind of opening up my brokerage within a brokerage pretty much, sure. um, which I had, you know, an interest in doing, you know, everybody does. I think it's the career arc, you know? Yeah. Um, so, you know, for me, it's, it's cool because I think we can bring all these people in and I'll try to give them value. Um, and I'm directly vested in, in their, you know, their success and then so is the company and they're invested in the company so it's just financial alignment for everybody if that makes sense yeah absolutely so from a tech side talk to us about the tech at exp i mean kv core is a, a, a big draw uh, are you using that or are you using other crms yep so i just when kv core made out or when it came out full in my mls in july i made the switch over from you know three or four different places to just yeah. kv core i was like i'm gonna go all in and just try this 
Yeah. Um, definitely glitchy. There's a, there was a few features at first that were very, the mobile app was absolutely terrible at first. Um, but like I said, I have no problem with growing pains and I also saw the power that this system had. So I would say, you know, just full transparency, the main use for it right now for me is just a, it's a glass window into my business. Um, I run my whole team, you know, at whatever lead, wherever it comes from, Zillow, Realtor, you know, for sale by owner lead, a, a sphere of influence, lead, wherever it's at, we put it in there and then share it with our team members through there. And we have uh, basically drip campaigns and tasks set up for, you know, depending on what type that person is, you know, if it's a new lead, an active lead, a client, whatever. So we've been able to kind of automate our process or just not so much automate, but structure our process. So that's the same experience each and every time, which has been huge because I'm able to give agents on our team a successful platform, no matter what type of lead they're given. It's a kind of a proven platform. Um, you know, this is step by step how it goes, whether it takes six months, a year or three months, whatever. Yeah. Um, so that has been the primary use for me right now. And it's been huge. I love it. Um, plus I can get stats on the fly with, with my, you know, all, all the, um, all the, all my database, um, the squeeze pages, the landing pages, the generating leads, it, we've, we've minimally started it and it's been great. I just honestly haven't had enough time to fully implement it. Um, but I know the potential there and it's, 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 it's my next thing, but I'm just kind of trying to deal with what's I'm laying down the tracks for my own team. <laughs> coming, to be honest. So, <laughs> so yeah. Um, you know, and then, so sky slopes, another good one. I know a lot of companies have sky slope, but, um, I, I even purchased dot loop myself for a little while and I wasn't at Keller Williams, but I did have dot loop myself and I dot loop made sense to me, but the client side and my agent side, they, it just didn't work for them. Sky slope has seemed to be a universal. It's just simple. It may not be, my opinion, the prettiest UI as opposed to like dot loop or something like that, but it is absolutely very functional. And I mean, we're at a closing, you know, we'll, we'll scan the, the, the closing statement and the check into our, um, you know, to with our iPhone, we'll, we'll scan it in right there at the table, upload it in the sky slope file. A lot of times we're paid. I mean, we've had agents paid that day or the, you know, the payment was issued and uh, a lot of other agents will sit there and say, what are you doing? You know, oh, we're, we're, we're getting paid today or tomorrow. And they're like, are you serious? Yeah. Was, yeah. We just scanned it in. So, you know, that, that type of quick on the fly stuff, having that access um, right there that just works has been huge too. Yeah. And this is my first experience with sky, with sky slope as well. Um, in Colorado, CTME contracts is our dot loop and that's kind of what everybody uses. Okay. Uh, so, but it, as far as like, Hey, I can just PDF something from there. Bop, let's upload the sky slope. I get email updates all the time. This is what you're missing. This, here's some notes on what you need to change. And I'm like, it's seamless communication with our state managing broker. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's very quick with EXP as far as the disbursement authorization. And I think I've been paid every time at the table. Um, while, like you said, while other agents from other firms wait a week, two weeks, three weeks. Yeah. Um, I have one agent who just joined EXP who said he was worried if his broker had enough money to pay him. <laughs> like she, he was really afraid, like, and I, I don't want to mention any names and, you know, yeah. but like some, some, I always say this, some agents are afraid that their brokers are so far behind the eight ball that they're afraid their own commission's going to go and their work's going to go. And um, you never have that with the XP. And, and I think that's one of the things people worry about when they join. I get it a lot that, you know, how do you get paid with a virtual company? You know I mean? And when we tell them, you know, that they pay it off to scan check and then you just mail the check in and a lot of times it's paid quicker. <laughs> That, that just speaks, I think, to the efficiency here, which, um, and, and I think it's on the topic of technology, but Brad Anderson was in a training the other day and we were, we, we had 55 people in the cloud. We had, a, you know, like a little session going on. And he said, you know, if we had 55 people in this room and I asked the question, where are you all from? Or how long have you done business? Everybody would be blurting it all out at once. You'd have to go, you know, person by person. We have with the, the, the cloud, you know, we have the, we have the same type of setup. It works psycho psychologically because you have the, avatar person up there um and then they're all able to type in the chat box while the session is going on it's it's more efficient than a physical 50 group people you know room um and i never thought of it that way but hmm. it is amazing how much we're able you know we can have these these q a's going on while a person is speaking and um it, you know we have conference level type stuff going on every day yeah. um you know it, it's just it's unbelievable the, the the virtual world really does work but it's a little different to get behind, I think, at first. 
it is. It is. And, you know, and the training is right there, right? I mean, you, you, all you got to do is go, you know, I go into my email, I type in SkySlope and boom, I can go back and find my training link for all the training videos for SkySlope or KV Core. And boom, there's a training video for KV Core. Or there's just a live training this week and I can go in and ask my questions and pop my avatar in there and, and chat or raise my hand or do whatever I want to do. Um, and so, like, I'm hiring an, an, an ISA right now. Uh, well, boom, let's go to get, get you trained up on SkySlope. I don't have to do it. I don't have to train you on KV Core. Go watch these videos. EXP's got it handled. And it's, fa it's a fantastic efficiency uh, from a tech standpoint, I believe. Well, that's exactly it. And I said that I had um, somebody wanted, I had looked at an independent brokerage before going independent myself. And we had, we had talked it over with someone. And I said, you know, I can't, I can't onboard an agent to my independent brokerage. They come in, they, this actually happened with one of my agents. They went to accounting in the cloud. They mm -hmm. got their W9 straightened out. They went to a training on KV Core and they implemented something from that that day. So as an independent broker, I'd have to pay accounting then pay a trainer, hope that everybody comes to the physical space or hope that everybody logs in because it's, you know, they're leveraging this nationally with this big company. They're able to have that all on demand pretty much. And the way you want it, like you said, it's recorded, it's live. It's, you could just type it in Facebook and find some other agent, you know, trying to help about it or posting about it. And, you know, you just can't beat that. You can, you cannot beat that. Um, there's no way I could have, you know, I know doing something on my own. So, yeah. And now you said you're doing a little bit more agent attraction uh, lately. Five to ten agents are coming on in the in the coming months. Uh, is that people proactively just coming to you because they see you growing? Are you marketing yourself purely as EXP, or are you something at EXP? How is that working out for you? Yeah, I mean it's definitely been more me, me reaching out. I mean a lot of it's mostly just calling people, telling them straight. I'm, I'm pretty much just, I'm I'm very honest, and I just tell them, look, a lot of people are joining right now. I know we've done a lot of deals together. I just want to let you know what this is, you know, take an hour or two lunch with me. I'll show you it. If you join, you join. It's, it's not, you know, going to make or break me. I just want to yeah. show you it. And that's been a big thing that's been working, but I would say still 30, 40% are actually of them are, are the ones that are reaching out to me. Um, so it's, it's a little bit of both, but still a little bit more me just calling people that I do deals with and, and know. Um, yeah. So, but it's, it's taken up more time than I'd like, yeah. <laughs> but because yeah. you get people to wrap their, their head around this different, it's just totally different. Um, and I, I often say it, it's hard. It, it's like having a kid for me. I mean, everybody said, you know, it's going to, Oh, you're going to have a kid. It's going to change this. It's going to do that. I'm like, okay, I get it. But you don't really get that until you, you actually have, <laughs> have kids. So at EXP for me was the same way. I mean, for the a good solid six months to a year, I didn't really dig in and plug into the cloud and do that. I just kind of, oh, I'm hanging my license here and the commission split's good. Um, but, you know, once people actually go in and they have that experience with accounting or they, like I did, I logged into the cloud and learned what that iSpy 360 was. It's way cheaper than Matterport to do our virtual tours. I talked with somebody from the company who was in the cloud. They're in, a, in, their, in the UK, you know, um, having that type of experience by just, randomly popping into the, the office, you know, um, was unbeatable. And until you get those experiences, I don't think you'll ever be able to, exp to understand what that's like, you know. And, it's, I, and I just learned something because I'm a Matterport user. I've got a camera right here in my office and I, I've never even heard about iSpy360. So here we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, I logged into the cloud one day, <laughs> true story. And I looked at the board and I saw, you know, iSpy360 training. I'm like, okay, what's this? I had nothing to do for an hour. I'll go check it out. And it's this company from the UK and you can have any 360 camera. I just bought like the, the Vico Theta, I think it's called. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a great camera. Yeah, yeah. So two, three hundred bucks on Amazon. And um, they, you can use any one and they will pull those images in. And basically you can create the map just like Matterport does. You can do floor plans. You can also do like virtual open houses. So you can, you can have your, your tour up and you can be in the bottom right corner like we are live here. Um, and have people come in and talk to them as they're touring and stuff. Um, but it's like, I think 30 ish dollars a month, something like that yeah. for up to 10 tours. I mean, so it's so cheap compared to Matterport. I mean, you have a three, $4,000 camera and their cloud service isn't cheap. You know, you got two, 300 and then 30 bucks a month. It was so much cheaper. I was immediate. Yep. I'm in, you know, I don't do that many of them, but it's so much cheaper that I was immediately in and um, any issues I had, they're actually in the cloud a lot. We have, a, I think a, a partnership with them where we get a discount at eXp. Um, so they're always in the cloud teaching and, and I've, I had an issue. I went in and I dealt with that person, the virtual avatar in there. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I, I learned everything in the cloud by spontaneously walking into the office. And I also had support in the cloud from another company by them being there. It was, it was pretty crazy.
I'll have to check that out. I, I got I first got in the 360 video with a little Kodak, like almost looked like a cardboard camera with a little dome on top. And I was I was riding my bike around town trying to do 360 video and the quality was horrible. I had to outsource the editing for like five hundred dollars per video. Oh wow. <laughs> and now I'd like to see the Rico Theta come out and like you can just be walking around with an invisible selfie stick doing a 360 open house tour and now you can throw that on the iFly 360. I gotta it's check crazy. that out. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. It is. It is. It's. It's really neat. It's. It's getting more, more accessible and affordable now. I mean, the VR, everything. Not just real estate. It's unbelievable how quickly the world's advancing. <laughs> yeah, and with everything going VR and with everything going virtual, I think people's resistance to the concept of hey, I have to work from my off my home or whatever is going to go down. Yes. And you're and you're opening a physical space because some people really still do want bricks and mortar. Like if I don't leave the house. You know, I'm not going to leave my screaming kids behind. I'm always going to have the clutter on my couch and distracting me. And some people just need to put home behind and go to the office to get into a work mode. And you're creating that space and you're finding a profit model that works for that or a team sharing, cost sharing model, I imagine. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, I mean, for me, it boils down to there's a couple issues and that's, you know, people have the closing problem. You know, they need a closing location. I have no issue. My lender has a space. Title companies have a space. But for the people that do have that issue, there's your closing place, you know, yeah. meeting with clients. There you go. And then lock boxes can be an issue, at least sometimes when you have to drive and meet up and stuff. And we were setting up a distribution center and I just said, you know what, I'll just open up the office space. EXP is more than given back to me. I don't mind. I think this will work anyway, um, you know, with the attraction model. So, you know, we're going to go ahead. I'm all in. I, I love this company. And, and that's, and that's rare for me. I've never been a company person. I'm, yeah. I'm always, I was always man, uh, anti-company, anti-sharing. <laughs> and here I am. I've just been giving out free info and helping, you know, helping everybody because it's, it's given back to me. It's, it's, it's changed me personally. Too. Yeah. And you're not the first person I've heard say that. And I'm, I'm happy to hear that. The more people I meet, the more people that say that, uh, because I've, you, you talk to other franchise models and they won't talk one office to another, one market center to one, or they're like, Hey, wait, you're in my territory back off. I'm not, I'm not going to share with you my geo farming because like it's competition. But I keep telling people here, like when they're coming on board in Denver, like anything I've ever done, anything I've ever used is yours. Yep. Like I've got, I've got, you know, stacks of, I mean, if you had electronic stacks of training, I'm like, just have access to it, you know, yeah. whatever, like all of my marketing materials, my graph, my best designers, my best photographers, here's my list. Like, and with the sure. stock element, we want them to succeed. I think, you absolutely. know, absolutely. Absolutely. And, we, and we also want the EXP bar to be higher than the bars of other places. I think like in terms of quality, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so don't go taking a, a listing video, <laughs> a listing picture, <laughs> you know, with your flip phone or something like, Oh yeah. <laughs> quality marketing out there, right? Yep. That's absolutely. Yeah. That's a big portion. And it, and the, the mindset of abundance is really, you know, what it is. Cause there is enough business out there and everybody's, you know, squabbling over, you know, their trade secrets and people that don't think that culture exists here at EXP. I tell go watch the I conversations on YouTube. It's public, you know, and listen to what the icons are giving out each week. I mean, I built my desk when I moved into my new house here a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. I threw on eye conversations. I had to stop building because I had to start taking notes because it's it's such good stuff. They're giving away their trade secrets every day. <laughs> you know, it's it's, yeah. it's great, you know. Yeah, and, and you see a lot of coaches do that, right? I mean, I, the the big the big yeah. national coaches. I don't even have to name their names because everybody kind of knows who they are. There's free stuff out there all the time, right? Yeah, and because they get it. Like if you lead by giving, if you if you come from a heart of giving. And if you come from adding value, it's the same thing with your clients. If you add value to a home buyer or a home seller, they're going to stay loyal. Exactly. And I think, and that's also coming from, like you said, it's a place of abundance. It's, it's easier to receive with open hands than closed hands, right? Yep. <laughs> and so you yep. open your hands and you give freely. Um, yeah, we're sharing this information out all the time. Icon agents are joining us all the time to share their wealth of knowledge. And I appreciate you, Chad, for coming on board, Top Pod Agents. We're just here to share information, share the experience. Uh, you know, Chad, if, if people found the show and they're like, hey, I want to know his trade secrets or <laughs> I want to know, like, the, you know, I want to role play a conversation on agent attraction or, um, you know, where's this, whatever. If they want or if they just want to sign up with EXP and they, if they like you and they know that now they know you and trust you, how do they get in touch with you? Yeah. So, I mean, phone or email, I'm always working. That's for sure. But uh yeah, so so uh, I have a, I have a business like team line. It goes to my admin or myself or any of our team members. It's seven two four six three zero five nine five five. 
or just my emails, Chad Leonberg team at exprealty.com. Um, it's, it's on my watch. It all comes every day. I work 24 seven. I think as most of us realtors do, I don't think we sleep, but, uh, no, no. <laughs> um, but uh, and if they're already at EXP, I'm always on workplace chat. You can always reach out to me on there. My whole team actually runs off workplace chat. We do our weekly meetings in there. So, um, we're, we're constantly on the chat. <laughs> awesome folks. And so, Hey, we're fiercely loyal here at Top Pod Agents. If you came here because you were invited by Chad or you wanted to know more about Chad, please give Chad a call. Uh, or you know anybody that introduced you at EXP, if even if they've been with EXP for 30 minutes, go back to that person, sign up with them. You still have access to anybody in the entire company. Um, and if you have any questions about Top Pod Agents or if you know of anybody who'd be a really good candidate to be on the show, uh, I'm Rick Jansen. My phone number is 303-589-2320. And uh, you can reach me at uh, richard.jansen, J-A-N-S-O-N, at exprealty.com. Hey, Chad, thanks so much for sharing your wealth and knowledge with us and just uh, sp spending time with me. And getting to know and just get it's nice to get to know you. I hope to meet you down at, at the uh, Shareholder Summit. Absolutely. I'll see you there. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for having me. <laughs> All right. Hey, thanks so much. Take care. Yep, you too. Bye-bye. We'll see you.